Hello everyone and welcome to one more of my videos. Today I'm going to show you an easy way of being able to tell a female dubia roach from a male dubia roach. Now these will be non-adult uh, roaches. Uh, adult roaches as we all know, you can tell the difference. Basically on a dubia roach the male has wings, the female does not. They're a very shiny brown color. But for what we're going to do for here today, this is going to be sub-adults, and I'm going to show you the difference between the male and the female looking from the top. What is it? Male or female? Well, for most of you, you probably don't know. But let's flip her on over. And as we can very clearly see here, this is definitely a female. All right, let's take a look at our second one here, and I want you to try to guess. What do you think? Male or female? Well, let's take a look underneath. Well, that's a male, and you can tell it's a male by the last segment of the abdomen is very small. What if you're sorting a lot of dubia and you want to pick out just the males? Wouldn't it be great to be able to identify the males from the females from the top down instead of having to flip them over all the time? Well, believe it or not, it's very simple. Look at this picture. Is this a male or female? Do you know? Now look at this picture. Is it a male or female? Do you know? Well, let's take a closer look at each one, and I'll show you how to tell whether it's a male or female. When I first started, people said, oh, you don't need to flip them over. Look at the last segment of their tail from the top. I'm going to tell you right now, many females have a very small tail segment. This is not a sure way of telling. One day while sorting dubias, it hit me like a brick. Notice in this picture, notice how pronounced these subadult wings are. You notice how they stick out. To me, I call it like armor. They look like it's an armor shield on top. Now let's take a look at the female. You'll notice that the subadult wings are more flat, more streamlined to the body. They don't look like they're wearing a piece of armor on the back. All right, let's go back and take a look at the male. We're going to freeze the frame here. Notice the shield. Notice his wings up there. Notice how they look like a shield that's sitting on his back. Now, when we're going to flip him over here, you'll notice that it's a male. Notice a small segment. All right, now let's take a look at the female. You'll notice the female, as we freeze the frame here, the wings the subadult wings, the armor is not as pronounced as it is in the male. Even though she has a very wide segment at the bottom, definitely a female. You can tell this by looking at the top as you're sorting your dubious. And clearly as we turn her over you can definitely see it is a female. Alright, hopefully you found this information helpful and now you'll be able to learn how to look down in your tub and distinguish males from females so when you need to pick quickly one sex from the other you're able to do that and I hope that you consider Randy's roaches for all your roach needs for your lizards I have a wide selection of small mediums and large and if I can help you I'll put an email address up here please drop me a line and I'll be more than happy to send you prices thanks for watching my video we'll see you next time